after hours of back and forth and sometimes heated testimony, the Board of Education has yet to make a decision on who will be the next state superintendent. Board members are still speaking as we speak. There are three finalists for the job, and we heard from all of them today, but their testimony was overshadowed by what the public had to say. Many of those testifiers expressed upset anger with the interim superintendent, current school COVID rules, as well as the process of selecting a superintendent. Why are you guys making this, the decision when the majority is out here? How does that, that make sense? There's only four of you with kids. There's maybe 10 over here with, with kids. We should be the ones picking the superintendent. And if you guys don't want a hostile work environment, obviously we know who the root of the problem is. If you guys don't know, his name is Keith Hayashi. I'm here to say a strong no to Hayashi. He's not a true leader. True leaders know there's two or more sides to everything. They don't sit down and cherry pick the ones they'll talk to and that they won't. I'm a teacher and I can't even get a call back from Mr. Hayashi. There's no ha in Hayashi. He wants our kids vaccinated, separated, unhappy, and alienated. Titles and accolades mean absolutely nothing. If you are not working from a place of integrity, you are not working from a place of honesty and transparency. Yeah. What we have seen from Keith Hayashi has been the exact opposite of that. The board was forced to take recess twice. Sheriffs are on hand to help keep the peace, and the board re will reconvene after about 15 minutes. The public has been able to follow along in the selection process and in an effort to improve transparency. Each candidate had 90 minutes to share their presentation, explaining how they would help the board develop a new strategic plan and to answer questions from each of the board members. We need to flex and we need to detach. The school planning process from the high level system process. By doing this, this will allow schools to be innovative, to be creative, and to not feel uh, that they're focusing on compliance. I think when we're looking at um, best practices, it, it comes down to how are we engaging our students in the work that they're doing and in their learning. Uh, creating opportunities and conditions for success, uh, honoring our students where, where they come from. Lots of times strategic plans will say, well, this is our goal. And we're always measuring ourselves between that and the goal. With continuous improvement, we're not just going after the goal, but we're also going after the increases and the improvements. Daryl Galera, Keith Hayashi are both local educators. Caprice Young is the only finalist from the mainland. Once the board makes their selection, a contract still needs to be negotiated before the superintendent is officially hired. And we'll follow up and let you know what happens.